in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create really easily a viral video for uh, your Instagram page. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know from the start, so how to design uh, these shapes for these videos and how to animate them really easily. So let's get into it. The first step is gonna be to design and illustrate uh, what we want to do in the video. In this case, we're gonna create the shape of the blade first. And to do that, we're gonna create three circles, just like I'm doing. And then we're gonna use uh, the shape builder. And we're gonna basically just extract the blade out of the three shapes. Once that's done, we're gonna add the stroke with a color. After that, we're gonna create the line, the rope that goes from the top to the blade with a simple stroke. And we're gonna create the gradient inside the blade. So let's put the filling to a gradient. And now let's edit the gradient accordingly to what we want to create. For this blade, we are going with the red colors. So we are gonna change the gradient to have the red, white, and black for the bottom part. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste the blade shape. We're gonna change the gradient position and then change also the opacity of the black color so we can have another uh, gradient basically on the top part and also have the gradient we just did before that's visible as you can see on screen, right? Now what we are left to do is to simply add the text. Now we are going to create this object, which is a simple white ball. And also the floor that's going to have a gradient that looks like a glow from the ball and looks really nice. We're going to simply put the gradient to black and white, change the opacity of the black color to 100% and then uh, put, place the gradient uh, correctly to make it look like it's a glow. Now, to do the other two blades, uh, you are just gonna simply copy and paste them and change the colors however you want and change the text. Now we're gonna create a new composition into After Effects with these uh, sizes, okay? Since it's gonna be uh, an Instagram video, we're gonna export everything. So the three blades, the ball and the glow floor. We're gonna change the anchor point of the blades on the top because we are gonna animate the rotation of this tree, right? Make sure to have the snapping feature activated so it's easier to change the position of the anchor point. We're gonna keyframe the rotation value of the lazy blade and the ego blade. Starting value will be 60 for these two and for anchor we're gonna place minus 60. So at the start, they are not visible on screen, right? And then after uh, one second and a half, we're going to place the lazy and ego values to minus 60. So they are going to move. For the anger uh, blade, we're going to place it to 60 degrees. We're going to copy and paste the first value to be the last value. So it's going to loop. Then we're going to ease the keyframes and play around with the velocities. In this case, we want them to start fast, slow down in the middle, and then end fast. Then we're going to copy and paste keyframes another time to make the animation uh, repeat, uh, basically. Then what we're going to do is we're going to activate the 3D layer for all these layers, right? So we can play around with the position of the blades to make them look like they are far or they are closer to the subject. We're going to link the shadow floor to the orb and then we're going to create a new null layer and we're going to link the orb to the this master null layer. And we're going also to create a camera, camera layer. So we're gonna play around with the position of this camera to make it look like it's closer or it's more far away. We 
we are gonna change the depth of field and place put the aperture to this value same thing for the focus distance so we can have that uh, blur for the elements that are far away right from the orb then we have to link the camera to the null then we're gonna position each blade like this so they are not uh, overlapping themselves then we're gonna play around with the position of the master so we can make sure the blades are perfectly placed for uh, the animation to happen with the orb And then to make that uh, cool animation with the orb that uh, looks like it's uh, shrinking, it's simply just an animation with the scale. So we're going to select the scale. And when the blade uh, pops up on top of the orb, we're going to make the ball shrink, the orb shrink, right? Like it's trying to not get hit but by the blades. So once the first... Uh, animation is done so with the yellow blade we're gonna change the position of the camera with the master so we can have the second blade to try to hit the ball right so we're gonna simply position the the master to make sure the the anger blade hits the ball the orb when it's uh, perfectly centered the blade and once we make sure that it's perfectly centered. We're gonna also change a bit the position of the orb so it's not always static, okay? And it has got a bit more of the dynamic uh, feel to it. Now, after the orb changes the position, as you can see, the anger uh, blade is going to try to hit it another time. And uh, at that point, we are going to switch the focus to the third blade, so the ego blade. We're going to copy and paste the scale values that we have done before, right? To make sure the ball, the orb, looks like it's trying to not get hit by that uh, third blade. And make sure the last frame is the same as the first frame, since we want this animation to loop. This is how the final uh, product looks. Now it's missing a really important thing, which is going to be the slow motion. But before that, we are going to adjust a bit the master to make it look like all the blades are coming from the top at the start, right? Then, now we are going to pre-compose everything and now we are going to play around with the slow motion and that's what really gives that really nice uh, look to the animation, right? We're going to, in fact, select the time remapping, enable it so this is how we do slow motions in our animations we're gonna select the keyframe on this part then we're gonna select another keyframe and we're gonna stretch out that third keyframe we're gonna place the fourth keyframe and the fifth and we're gonna stretch out the fifth frame so the intervals between second and third and fourth and fifth are the slow motions, right? We're gonna place another one. And another one as well, which we're gonna stretch out. So the space, it's gonna be the slow motion space, right? And that's it. We're gonna end that the animation there. So it's looping. Now, one final touch that we decided to add, uh, actually, to be honest, at the end of the animation was the saber effect that gives that really nice neon feel to it. So we're going to do that. 
we're gonna just simply create a solid layer okay black solid layer we're gonna place that composition that we created inside our main composition the axe composition now we're gonna go to effects and select the saber which is a free effect you don't need to pay anything for it Once we've selected it, we're going to play around with values. Find the one that you like the most. So we selected the portal preset with a yellow color. And then what we're going to do is to create a mask to give uh, the saber effect the shape of the blade. We're going to create a mask with the pen tool. And make sure to parent the mask to the blade so it goes with blade right we're gonna duplicate the saber uh, effect and we're gonna place it just like we did uh, for the first blade to the second blade We're just gonna simply change the color of it. Then we're gonna do it another time for the last blade, which is the purple one, the ego one. We're gonna copy and paste. Again, change the color, make sure it's parented to that blade. And this is how the final video gonna look like so it's really nice indeed now the key component also of this video is not only the visuals but also sound effects which we did in a cinematic style so you can do that you're just gonna simply search for uh, cinematic as keyword and then the type of sound effects which can be swoosh hit whatever but those cinematic uh, sound effects in general are the best for instagram since they are really catchy they catch really well the attention right and yeah that's everything for this uh, tutorial